King Charles may invite Prince Harry and Meghan Markle to Balmoral this summer. In an attempt to be reunited with his grandkids, King Charles may reach out and invite Prince Harry and Meghan Markle to stay at Balmoral Castle this summer, according to insiders who spoke to page 6. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. The cancer-stricken king has only had a few in-person encounters with Prince Archie, who turns five next month, and has only met Princess Lilibet once. The 75-year-old Charles, though, is rumored to invite the Sussexes to the royal family's cherished getaway. Every year, the king enjoys retiring to the Scottish countryside with family members, including his own brothers and the Prince and Princess of Wales, who is currently battling cancer. I can see Charles desperately wanting to see the children, and extending this olive branch to Meghan and Harry, a well-placed society source told us. He might conclude that life is simply too brief. Balmoral is really the ideal, peaceful location for a get-together. In the event that he extends an invitation, Harry and Meghan ought to accept the visit. It was only in June 2022, during the late Queen Elizabeth's Platinum Jubilee festivities, that Charles first laid eyes on Lilibet, also known as Lily. Charles visited the children, as confirmed, and a royal source later described the visit, as fantastic and very emotional. According to the insider, the king was obviously thrilled to see his grandson and meet his granddaughter for the first time. It was a fantastic visit. Harry, who turns 40 in September, is eager to make amends with his father despite a highly publicized family falling out in recent years, as we have previously reported. When the monarch was diagnosed with illness in February, the Duke of Sussex took a plane trip more than 5,000 miles from his home in California to see Charles, however, the Duke and his father were only granted a 40-minute meeting. Buckingham Palace remained silent over the invitation, and sources in Sussex stated they were not yet aware of any plans for the summer. In contrast, Markle, 42, has not travelled back to the United Kingdom much since the Sussexes left the country and their positions as senior royals in March 2020. Despite their return for Queen Elizabeth's Platinum Jubilee, the pair was not allowed to join the family on the Buckingham Palace balcony because they are no longer employed as royals. After attending her husband's funeral for the late Queen in September 2022, Markle has not returned to her native country, not even for Charles' coronation. Harry writes in his shocking autobiography, Spare, about how much he loved Balmoral and how his grandfather, Prince Philip, would manage the grill amid a thick cloud of smoke, tears streaming from his eyes, and that his grandmother's speciality was salad dressing. He had on a flat cap, which he occasionally removed to wipe his brow or swat a fly. With a massive set of tongs, he rotated the sizzling venison fillets and inserted a Cumberland sausage loop. Usually, I would beg him to prepare a pot of his speciality, Bolognese spaghetti. King Charles III had a cancer diagnosis this year as well. In February, Buckingham Palace announced that during the king's surgery to treat an enlarged prostate, cancer was found. According to a statement issued by Buckingham Palace on March 22, Charles is so proud of Kate for speaking out about her treatment. It suggests that two senior members of the royal family are undergoing cancer treatment. Of course, the Princess of Wales and the Sovereign. Two of the most important members of the royal family. Two of the most popular members of the royal family. Glancing back over the last few weeks and, to be honest, the madness that transpired on social media, a large portion of it was brought on by the public's adoration and fascination with the life of the Princess of Wales. Royal expert Katie Nicholl told NBC's Lester Holt that she is much loved and much adored. Nicholl claims that after weeks of speculations and speculation about Kate's location and health, the revelation is likely a shock to the general public but a relief for the Prince and Princess of Wales. They were able to refute the rumours by coming out at last. 
Nichols said that the fact that they could tell their three tiny children and give them time to comprehend the news was the most crucial aspect of all of this.